Pro-Palestinian student protesters across the country are urging some major universities to pull investments from Israeli companies that they say profit from the war in Gaza. The situation remains tense in several cities, including New York. Fox's Mills Hayes is live there. And Mills, tell us what you're seeing there. Hey, Russ and Courtney. Well, I'm here at New York University uh, where on Monday pro-Palestinian protesters were arrested right here. And since then, there's been a plywood wall that has been put up. You guys can see it right here. They actually started building it just yesterday. And now you can already see that there is some vandalism. There's some stickers that say Free Palestine and NYU Wall of Shame. I've spoken to both students and people who live in the neighborhood, and both of them tell me that it really is just an eyesore in, on, around campus. Uh, I see a lot of uh, NYPD here, and it just, everything seems so dramatic. And the message it gets sent is just that anyone who's voicing an opinion that you don't agree with, the, the government can shut down those voices. There's been student protests at more than half of the top 50 universities across the country. Students are calling on their universities to stop all investments in Israeli businesses. Protesters are also upset that U.S. tax dollars are being sent to support the Israeli military, saying they're responsible for the tens of thousands of civilians who have died in Gaza. Some Jewish students have told Fox that the anti-Israel protests are triggering and make them feel unsafe on campus. At Columbia University, Republican House Speaker Mike Johnson spoke with Jewish students Wednesday. Today, I'm here to proclaim to all those who gnash their teeth and demand to wipe the state of Israel off the map and attack our innocent Jewish students this simple truth. Neither Israel nor these Jewish students on this campus will ever stand alone. Johnson says uh, that he plans to reach out to President Biden and tell him that he needs to take action, and that might include bringing in the National Guard at some college campuses. I am here at NYU, and I will say that any of the protests that we've seen today have all been peaceful, at least here. In New York, Mills Hayes, Fox 5 News.